Let peace rule in your heart. Colossians 3, look at verse 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. You need to have thankfulness in your heart. And then what happens? If you're full of thankfulness and God squeezes you, what's going to come out? More thankfulness. Can you imagine when you're going through the biggest trial in your life, the most suffering, the greatest temptation, and God squeezes your heart, and you've been having the word of Christ dwelling in you? It's brought a peace which passeth all understanding. You've been singing to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. There's grace in your heart to the Lord, and God says, I'm going to send this brother through a trial. And what comes out? More psalms. What comes out? More rejoicing. What comes out? More thankfulness to God for all he's done. More admonishing to your brothers and sisters. How often have you even seen that recently? Go on Facebook for like five minutes and nobody's admonishing one another to stay in the fight. No one's encouraging one another to keep into the battle and to keep your hearts at peace and to let the word of God dwell in you. And so we have a bunch of Christians that are just beating up on each other, malicious to each other, fighting one another. And if you are exhibiting that from your mouth, and yes, this is also your heart speaking. And this is also your heart speaking. If that's what's coming out of you is hatefulness towards your brother, that's what's in your heart. How can you love God and hate your brother? The Bible says you're a liar. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. And if it is, when the pressure's put on and that's all that's in your heart, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. When God squeezes that, when he puts the pressure on you, that's what's going to come out. Peace, rejoicing, thankfulness towards God and that all that he has done. And you know what? When somebody's in the worst scenario, hey, think of the Apostle Paul in prison. What came out of his mouth when the squeeze was on him? He was locked up, chained up in the second prison behind a bunch of different quatrains of soldiers, whosoever was there. He was singing and making melody in his heart to the Lord because that's what was in his heart. So you squeeze him and that's what comes out. Amen?